What's up guys, it's Greg and today is another Teespring video. This is going to be an extremely important one as well. Whether you're new to Teespring or you've been using it for a long time, this is really important information. So the last video that I released was how to actually create designs that sell. It went through finding your niche, making sure that you can actually profit in that niche finding design ideas, copyright, and actually creating the designs. But it kind of ended at launching the campaign. So you guys have been asking me, what do you do after you launch the campaign? How do you market it? How do you advertise it? That's what this video is going to be on. And this is gonna be in the same format as last time. No extra fluff, it's gonna be a pretty lengthy video, but if you watch it all the way through one time, you'll know how to do this going forward. And then a little side note, as I'm finishing up this video, I'm gonna go over one thing that you can do in 2019 and going forward that's going to be absolutely huge. I've only made one video on what this actually is and no one else is talking about it. That's gonna be at the end of the video here. But without further ado, let's get right into this. So the very first thing that everyone always thinks is if you're on Teespring and you need to advertise and market and get sales for your shirts, you have to use Facebook ads. For some reason, that's the common belief. And for me, at least it was. A couple of years ago, I started with Facebook ads. And mind you, I have an extensive background on Facebook ads. I've been using it for small business, online business for years. I've spent thousands of dollars. And on Teespring alone, I spent over $1,000 and barely recouped it. It just costs too much on Facebook ads because they're getting more and more expensive and the margins aren't big enough. You're not getting enough sales to really profit. The ROI wasn't there. So I've completely changed how I market and sell my shirts on Teespring. I'm not using Facebook ads. And the beauty of this is I'm not using paid ads at all. I'm actually using free social media. So that's what you're gonna learn in this video. So now that we've cleared up the whole Facebook thing, let's actually get into the real strategy here. So first things first, we need to go over to Teespring. So let's jump in the computer. Okay, so this is just the demo account that I've been using for Teespring. And something I actually wanted to show you is if you've watched the last video, it'll show you how to actually make a shirt that'll sell. This is a demo account. I barely have any shirts on here and I've already made a sale. So when you set it up right, you barely have to do anything to get sales. What I'm going to show you in this video is gonna ensure that you get a lot of sales. It's driving your own traffic and free traffic. So the first step that we have to do here is go right over to storefronts. Now, if you don't know what a storefront is, you might be able to relate to it kind of in a Shopify way. It's basically a website for your shirts. So you can choose which shirts go into it. It's a very simple website that's hosted by Teespring. You don't have to pay for it and you can put niche shirts into it. So you only have one niche per storefront. So if that's rock climbing apparel, that's your storefront, only rock climbing apparel. Don't put car shirts in there. Don't put yoga shirts in there, only rock climbing apparel. And that's gonna go on with the strategy that we're talking about here. So assuming you've already watched the last video, you have your niche picked out and you have designs made. If you need that video, I'm gonna link to it in the description so you can pause this and watch that real quick so you're up to speed. The first thing we need to do is create a storefront. So let's just hit create storefront right over here. And we're gonna name this what the niche is. Remember, you can change this at any time. So I'm just gonna call it yoga store for now. Now it's not what you'd wanna call it. You'd wanna call it something clever or something punny, something that relates to the niche and is not trademarked. So don't use a big company name here. Just use something that's clever and goes along with your niche. That's not extremely important, but it's just the name of your storefront. So you want this to be something that's memorable. So once we have our storefront here, we just need to go through these buttons over here and just customize it. So the header is where you can come in and you can change the name if you need to. You can upload a logo, just use your store title for the time being. You can change the color of it if you want. We go back. The banner right here is where you're going to upload an image and this will be like the background image that people see when they land on your site. I'll give you a way to get really cool designs and banner photos later in this video, so stick around for that. In the meantime, you can go to canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com. It's a cool place where you can design free designs and you'll be able to make something that looks good in a background here. I don't wanna to go too much in detail here because you can use any image you want, so that's really up to you. But later I'm gonna show you how to get really cool custom images, so that's coming up. And then products, this is where you're going to choose which products you wanna put in this storefront. And then you just click add products and this is where you can select all the items that are related to that niche. Turn those on and then they will populate into your store. Then they're available to be purchased. So just like that. And then the about, if you want to, and you can add in a little bit of detail about your storefront, maybe something quirky, something that just says all the designs in here are funny yoga shirts, add them to your yoga apparel just to lighten up your day. Something light and something easy like that. And remember, you don't need an about page, but if you want one, this is where you can put that information in. And then lastly is the settings here where you can customize the end of your URL. So this is going to be the link that you share with people. So if you want to, you can change this to whatever the name is right here. So yoga store obviously is taken. So they put yoga store 22, but you can change this to whatever the name is of your yoga store. Now it's nice to have this say the same thing, but it's not going to be super crucial because in the next step, I'm going to show you how we can get that link to look really good. 
So just like that, fill out the information for your storefront, go through these little tabs on the side, and then you have your storefront. Now that we have our storefront, what we need to do is go to the store and copy this link right up top. So this is going to be the actual storefront link that we can share with people that will bring them to our storefront where they can purchase any of our niche products. So right click and copy that. And then go to a website called bit.ly or bitly.com, it's bit.ly. This is where you can shorten that link, making it a little bit easier on the eyes for people to click so it doesn't look extremely long like a paragraph of a link. And all we're going to do is right click and paste that link to our storefront here and it'll auto convert it into a shorter link. This is what we're going to be putting on social media because it's a nice short link, easy for people to click and doesn't take up a ton of space. So this is going to be our link to our storefront. Now, if you log in or create an account on Bitly, it's a free account, you can actually customize the tail end of this to say, so instead of 2AFH, just the random string of letters and numbers here, you'll be able to change that to the name of your storefront. It gives it a little bit of a better look and I recommend doing that. I'm not gonna do that for this example, but I've done it in the past on storefronts and it looks really good. So once we've done this, now we need to head over to Instagram. If you're new to Instagram, it's basically a photo sharing social media site that has a ridiculous amount of traffic of people going on there every day. And that's what we're going to use to funnel our traffic to this storefront. It's gonna allow us to get free targeted traffic for that niche, clicking straight onto our storefront and browsing through all of our shirts. So leave all of this open right now. Don't lose this link or close this tab. I'm gonna open my phone and pick up on Instagram so we can follow along from there. All right guys, so I'm in my phone right now. I'm just gonna open up Instagram. So if you already have an Instagram account, you're just going to create a new account. And if you don't have Instagram, download the app and then create a new account. And this new account is going to be designated to our storefront. So what we wanna do is make the username as close as we can to the name of that storefront we just did on Teespring. If we can't get it, make it something similar to that and then just create a password so you can log in. So what I wanna do is show you a really good example of this on Instagram. So I'm gonna go to search and you can do this too and go to Live Co Clothing, just like that. This is a Teespring storefront right here. And the whole point of this is just to drive traffic right to your storefront. So as you can see, there's that bit.ly link right there and it's customized with the name of the storefront right there. So it looks really good. And the description is nice and customized and you can use this account as an example. So you can copy this to make it pretty similar to this. So you have the same look because this account converts really well. But then the whole point here is instead of paying for Facebook ads, you're going to be posting photos of your items, whether these are screenshots right off of Teespring or if they are coming from what we're going to talk about next where you can get awesome custom content with your designs on it that look like stuff like this where it looks like it's a real person and a real model but in reality this is just a mock-up so in a nutshell this is what we're going to do create a designated account just for that storefront post content related to that niche and items that you sell in the storefront and then also get your designs on models like this which I'm going to show you how to do in the next step but once you're posting content like this, the rest becomes pretty easy. There's one more thing that we need to do to get traffic because people won't find this organically. We have to get it in front of them. So all we have to do is if we click on any of these, we can see that in the comments or in the post, preferably in the comments, you can put in hashtags. Now you're allowed up to 30 hashtags per post and they don't have to be the same ones. They can be different hashtags per post. So all of these hashtags here are related to the niche and people are searching through those hashtags. Maybe they follow these hashtags. So your post by you putting this hashtag on here will pop up in your target markets Instagram as they're scrolling through their phone. So this is how you get your targeted traffic to see your posts and then they come and they click on your account and they can go right to your storefront by clicking your link, just like that. So I know I'm going a little bit quickly through this and that's because I don't wanna waste your time. I just wanna show you how this works. But the last couple of things here are we need to find hashtags that are relevant. So this account obviously is in the yoga niche, but whatever niche you are, you can do the same process. We'll go to the search icon at the bottom and we can go to tags and then we can type in yoga, just like that. And then we'll hit that main hashtag and then right up at the top here, we have related hashtags. This is golden because these are suggestions that people who follow yoga also follow these here. So we're going to make a list of 30 of these and you can put this in your notes so you can copy paste it into every time you're posting on Instagram. And if you use all of these right here, if they're all relevant, you can click into another one and then you get some different ones. So they're not all the same on every one. So you can keep clicking through these until you build up a list of 30. Once you have your 30 hashtags, that's what you're going to be posting on your photos. Now, preferably you wanna copy that list of 30 and post it in a comment. So as you saw in this post here, the description on the photo is really nice and neat. It only has one hashtag in it. And then in the comments, 
or where you have the rest of the hashtags posted. So that's a really nice way to do it instead of doing it just all the hashtags right in the post. Now, sometimes that is convenient. So if you are in a time crunch, you can just post your hashtags right in the description, but preferably you wanna post the photo maybe with one hashtag in it, and then immediately come back and post a comment on that photo with the rest of your hashtags. It just hides them a little bit better and doesn't look spammy or anything like that. But like I said, if you're in a time crunch, feel free to just throw your hashtags into the post and that way you're still going to get that traffic and get in front of the people you want to. So that's the bulk of what we wanna to do to get our traffic. You wanna to try to post once a day. If you can only post once a week, that's fine. Post as much as you can. As a rule of thumb, just try not to go over three posts per day. So don't post three photos per day. It's just a little bit too much and can be seen as spammy. So people don't wanna be blasted with your shirts. So I recommend just once a day, or if you can only do once a week, that's fine. That's better than not posting at all. So the last part to this whole equation is how do you get good photos to post? Well, the first thing is you can just go right to Teespring and you can either screenshot the photo of your shirt or you can click and drag it or save it. There's a bunch of different ways you can do that and then post the shirt. That looks nice and clean and that's always a good option. As you can see, 138 likes, that's awesome. 138 people like this photo just of the shirt. And then you can also put them on models. So how do you do this? This is hands down the best way to build up your following on Instagram and get tons of traffic over to your storefront. So I'll show you this. I'm gonna switch back off the phone and come and show you on the computer how you get photos like this. All right guys, so we're back on the computer here and this is where we're going to create those mockups. So what we're gonna do here is come right over to a website called placeit.net. Placeit.net is amazing. What they allow you to do is you pay a monthly subscription, so it's $29 per month. However, this is really your only expense and hands down the best $29 you can spend on Teespring or print on demand overall. Now they have over 20,000 different templates that you can put your design on. And all you have to do is take that design that we created in the previous video. Again, that's linked in the description if you need that and then you can choose to put it on 20,000 different things. So all we have to do is come to mockups, t-shirt mockups, and just pick whoever you wanna put your design on. So you can choose all of these different photos. You can start to shape what your brand or your storefront looks like. And this is the secret to how you get that good content on Instagram that's going to convert people to start following your account, clicking your storefront, and start buying your shirts. And the thing is, it's unlimited. So you can pay for one month, $29, and you can go through here and make a thousand different designs. You've got the whole month to create designs, and then you can just save them to your computer and post them as you go once a week, and you'll have content forever. It basically costs you $29 to create all of your original, amazing looking content for your Instagram, and that's all you need. If you were to compare this to Facebook ads, you would spend $29 in the first day or the first week. That's almost guaranteed. This is $29 for unlimited content and the rest of this is completely free. The big thing that I wanna make clear is this will not work if you don't have good designs or if you're in a really saturated niche. So you have to watch the first video to make sure that you're positioned in a niche where you can actually get sales and you're creating good designs. So guys, that's really it on the strategy. However, there's that one thing that I was talking about in the beginning that is the best strategy, especially going into 2019, to basically guarantee that you're gonna get a ton of sales. And if you wanna make serious money online, this is gonna be the way to do it. I've already got skin in the game on multiple websites but I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. So whether you've heard me talk about affiliate marketing with a niche website online or not, that's a really, really big opportunity. And you can actually tie that into Teespring or print on demand very easily. So in a nutshell, affiliate marketing with a niche website is you create a website around a niche, a niche that you've done research on and made sure that it's a good niche to go into using the tactic that we used in the first video with KW Finder, it's the same thing. But once you found that niche, you create a website around it. And then you start making blog posts about that niche. And the way that you make money on the affiliate marketing side of this is you put in affiliate links. So you refer someone to a product that you're writing about or a service service that you're writing about and when they click that and they go purchase it there, you actually get a commission from the company. Now this probably sounds a little bit foreign to you. So there's a video that I'm gonna link in the description. It's a full tutorial that I made literally explaining everything and walking you through step-by-step step from start to finish. Now I know this probably sounds like a big task or a big project, something that you don't wanna get into, but at least just take my word on this and trust me that if you watch that video, go through start to finish, you will be setting yourself up for massive success because with that affiliate marketing site, it's going to be getting niche traffic from Google. It takes about 35 weeks on average to start getting that traffic from Google, but once it does, you are getting unlimited free traffic from Google. That's niche targeted traffic to your website, clicking your affiliate link so you make money on that when they purchase anything. But all you have to do to intertwine it with Teespring or print on demand is add on one page to that affiliate marketing site that says gear or apparel or shirts, and then just put your niche Teespring items on that page. Now you're getting targeted traffic that you're gonna make money on the affiliate links 
but then also that targeted traffic is gonna see your gear. They'll be able to click onto your storefront. They'll be able to buy your niche items. So just trust me on this. If you wanna get into making money online, whether that's print on demand, affiliate marketing, this is the best move that you can do right now. So I'm gonna link to the full tutorial on how to do that in the description. So be sure to check that out. But if you guys go through the strategy that I just talked about in this video, and you watch the previous video on how to create good designs and make sure you're in a good niche, there's no reason that you won't succeed on Teespring or print on demand. Guys, this is all you need. The fundamentals are right here. All you have to do is apply it. That's the one thing is I can tell you guys how to do this, but I can't apply it for you. So the rest is up to you. The ball is in your court. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will help you through them. Thank you all so much for the support and I will see you all in the next one.